The final match of the weekend, the final match of the German Darts Championship and the final match of the regular European Tour season. And what an occasion it could be as well. For Ricardo Petrescu, only the second German to reach the final of a European Tour event, hoping to become only the second German to win a European Tour event. More than five years have passed since Max Hopp's success in the German Darts Open in 2018 when he beat Michael Smith in that astonishing final by eight legs to seven. Petrescu now, though, hoping to add his name to the European Tour Roll of Honour by winning what would be a first PDC title of any description. Facing him is a man who's been there and done that, a winner of eight European Tour titles, a former world champion, and a man who has rediscovered his touch this weekend in timely fashion, it has to be said, has, well, he's already won one European Tour title this weekend. That came in Prague, and he's a winner of this tournament in years gone by as well, taking the honours in Hildesheim in 2017. It could well be a special night for German darts, and it could well be a very special night for this young man on the hockey right now, Ricardo Piotrescu. Rob Malarkey in the chair for the final. A privilege to be here once again. And alongside me for the finale, Mark Webster. Yeah, an intriguing final in prospect. The re-emergence of Peter Wright getting back to somewhat of his best form. He was incredible in that semi-final and looking for a second European Tour title of the year. The Peter to throw first. He had Game on. heartbreak in the final final European tour in Gibraltar last year when he mismatched that. He will start a firm favourite, but Ricardo Pietrecco has proved he cares nothing for reputation. Dispatcher to Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-final. And there's a lot on the line for Pietrecco here to go on the brink of the top 50 with victory. History being only the second winner, as you rightly mentioned, 100. Rob, and a spot in the Grand Slam of darts. It's a huge game. Yep. Titles on the line and significant doors to be opened as well further down the road 92. you may not need informing or indeed reminding but Petrescu has beaten Peter Wright before and it was a very famous victory as well and it was earlier this year it was at the European 60. Darts Open in the second round it was en route to his first European Tour quarter-final as well he was 5-1 down in that one yet he came through to win 6-5 in that second round match 100. And he went all the way to the last eight. Here, he's gone two stages further all the way to the final. Yeah, some achievement. Pietrescu has taken the majority of the headlines this weekend. But let's not look beyond how well Peter Wright has played. He's got a big end to the year, as we've been speaking about. A lot of money to defend. But he could win £30,000 here. And it just 60. gives him that impetus to go forward and defend that prize money. Grand Slam in a few weeks. He's defending a final and his players' championship finals win. He needs to qualify for that. And then it's the big one, the World Championship. But it's as good as we've seen 60. Peter Wright this year. Well, he's only won, I say only, he's won three ranking titles since he lifted the PDC World Championship of 2022. 100. Ricardo, including one at the 144. German Darts Open last year, the one in Prague, so he's picked up a couple of Euro titles in that time. 94 is what Peter Wright will be looking at when he returns. Petrescu trims off Peter a ton there 94. to leave 44, a very gettable 44 if Peter Wright fails to find this 94. 76 away, can't find the double 18. That's an early break here. Ricardo, you Perfect start 44. to the final for Petrescu against the throw. Almost hits the double 12, but he yeah. hits the double 16. He's been really composed on those little two dart finishes, and he breaks early here. Had to break in the final leg of the semi final, a 10 dart break to put himself in this final. A great start for the German. Well, it was such a, I mean, not just a 10 dart break, but given what had happened in the two previous legs where he'd really slipped up badly, um, you know, you don't want to tarnish what he's done in terms of the bigger picture. I think he's. His combinations today have been exceptional. The two treble visits have been consistent throughout this weekend. 81. And his finishing in the main has been very, very strong indeed. Inevitable. He's, I think he's entitled to a couple of slip-ups. It almost cost him against MVG. But the way he responded in the final leg to win that 1-7-6. A massive feather in his cap. And he's got the early break here. And he's in good shape in leg two as well. P. 
Peter Wright hasn't had as much recovery time from his semi-final. And this is a, a sluggish leg. Yeah, sorry to cut you off, jumping too far into the future, but we, we operate on a constant rolling system, don't we? So these all go towards major events next year. Pietrecco's basically putting himself in them at the minute. Yeah. 125. I think when he takes stock of all this, he'll realise the size of his accomplishment this weekend, especially if he goes on to win this. Well, either way, it's some achievement. 96. He hasn't got long to take Ricardo stock. He needs to get himself across to Barnsley for <laughs> Pro Tours on Wednesday. That'll bring him down to earth. But that's the nature of the professional circuit. Yeah, it's relentless, but I think he'll thrive. He'll go there with his head held high. He'll be walking around 10 feet tall in the Metrodome, won't he? After this weekend, irrespective of the outcome of this. 96. He's teed it up pretty well. He's backing up the break. I mean, people will be looking at him in a very different way. I say people, his rivals will be looking at him in a very different way now. Somebody to be respected and somebody that, you know, will be deemed capable of doing damage. I mean, he's reached a couple of Pro Source semi-finals already prior to this weekend as he takes out double 20. And that is two zip for Pikachu. And for tour card holders, um, who are coming to the end of their first year this year, don't qualify for the World Championship. Pietrecco didn't last year, but he's kicked on. A new tour card holder, it doesn't work out in the first few months. Stay patient with it. They'll be looking at this guy as an example. Bright start to the final for Pietrecco. 100. Ninety-five. Peter Wright's weathered a few storms. He rallied from 3-0 down against Damon Hetter. He led 6-3 against Luke Humphreys. Humphreys came back in him, but he composed himself to close out 7-5. Could become the first unseeded winner of a European Tour event this year as well. And of course, he'd be the only one given it's the last event of the year. That's another accolade that you can add to the many that are going to come his way, maybe. Just never looked flustered, has he, at all this 99. weekend? Obviously a bit nervy in that first one, because he needed to win that game to secure the spot in Dortmund. And Rob, that was probably what he wanted to do this weekend. Yeah, that Get was that spot the sorted. number one objective, yeah. Yeah, and this is beyond his wildest dreams, I'm sure. I think when he went into that match with George Killington, I think he realised that what was it potentially at stake? I mean, the, the opportunity that presented itself, not just for him, but for Killington as well. Yeah. But having come through that, I think PT that's when he started to believe. Both players would have seen that as this is a good opportunity and it, it was a good good weekend for George as well, but Petretzko had too much. He's going to get a look at 102 here for the double break. 58. Ricardo, you require 102. Well, he broke in the first leg with a 44 checkout. This is a more testing 102. He's right, only left 88. He may not even got a go. He's yeah. not getting a go. The finishing has been unbelievable from Pietrecco. He's finishing around about 45% for the tournament, but he's so composed. And yes, there was a little show of emotion there, but it wasn't too much. It's focus for Pietrecco. 3 0. He leads Peter Wright. Well, the inevitable question will be can he keep it up? I mean, why can't he? He's done why it all week, yeah. Exactly, yeah. I mean, but now we get to the business end of things, the final itself, but just confidence coursing through his veins right now, and he'll just need to pace himself in, in, in many ways, because it is first to eight. He still needs five more, but my goodness me, what a start he's made here. 96. It's at no point this weekend does he even thought about the occasion has he no that's right i mean he's averaging nearly 100 in this one tournament average is just under 99 as well 66. every match has had some little subplot on it the first one against mansell needs to win to confirm his spot in dortmund the shin the game is arguably at the minute he's not the german number one but a chance to that, yeah. prove himself yeah, yeah just put himself 99. across then the killington the big opportunity the, the rally against bunting michael van guren says it all in the semi-final yeah, a reminder, he was 4-1 down against Bunting as well. That was that was just highly, 59. highly impressive stuff. 2-10 plays 2-3-6. Pietresco on strike. Big visit here. And he'll be halfway there. 
looking for a four-leg lead. Saw a similar scenario last year in Trier. Roby John Rodriguez in his first Real Tour final. Got himself 4-0 in front, but was pegged back. Guarantees nothing at this level of play. It's a great foothold for Petrechko. Ricardo, you require 112. Would not be surprised in the slightest. Uh, can't find the treble 20 that would have left that double 16 again. 60. I'd have fancied him on that double 16 as well. 136. Peter Wright. Reliance on another big finish here. It's not going to go. And the way Peter Trechko is finishing. Well, he's three from three in the 49. final. And Ricardo, you require 52. Just focusing. Deep breath. It's a big moment. Yes, he's 3 0 in front, and you feel. It's not a big pressure situation, but it is. Gives him firm control of this final. And he's got firm control. Did we expect any other outcome? No. 4-0, 4 out of 4 on the doubles. He's halfway to winning the final European Tour of the year. He just steps up there with real assurance and he just looks so confident that it was almost inevitable that double 16 was going to go. 95. He's had some joy on that double 16 bet this weekend as well. All... When players get their tour card, they dream of winning their first ranking title. Doing it in his own backyard. 100. Yep, and he'll be back in his own backyard at the end of October as well, just a couple of hundred miles away in Dortmund for the European Championship. And on this evidence, you know, he's going to go there again, just 100. flying, isn't it? Well, regardless of what the outcome is in this final, There'll be a lot of attention around him in Dortmund in a few weeks. He could, if he wins this, he goes there as the number 14 seed. So he would play the number 18 seed, sorry, the number 19 seed in the opener. Whoever that might be. We need one or two more places just to be set settled here. I don't think we can you know, we, get too caught up in all that. Everyone moves around, yeah. yeah, and it's, yeah, we... 100. What will be, will be. But whoever he faces will, yeah, be... Uh, going into that one with a slight element of trepidation I would have thought Peter Wright is maybe harboring ambitions of a first leg here 206 plays 341 and that's a rare visit without a treble for Petrescu and don't write off pad the pun Peter Wright I feel like I repeat myself at this point you don't become a multiple major 60. winner if sometimes you don't dig yourself out of a hole Peter Wright against Michael Smith on his second World Championship win, found that bit of class at the back end that Michael Smith just couldn't deal with. He's got that in his locker, he's proven 91. before. Peter, you require 146. <laughs> 57. Well, all of a sudden. It's an 89 finish for Peter Wright. Trechko finds a treble. 72. Go. He goes to the ball. Peter, you require 89. Well, this would be a bonus for Petrescu if he were to snatch this. That leaves two darts from here. Bullseye for Peter Wright. 64. I wouldn't rule this out either. Oh, no. <laughs> Peter Wright will be the worst here. 117. It's a, a manageable combination given the way he's been playing in the main. Can't find the treble 19 that would have left tops. 77. Still hits a double. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't measure, to, yeah. it wasn't to clinch the leg, but I'm with you. That would have been a bonus anyway. Peter Wright to get himself off and running in this final. Double four. Yeah. Little pause. This is huge for Peter Wright. Ah, that's a brilliant dart. It's a 21 Peter dart leg, which doesn't sound a great deal, but it's a foothold in this final for Peter Wright. No, He's take, off and running. He'll take that any day of the week. Just needed something, anything, however scratchy, however unconvincing it might be just needed to get off the mark and get on the scoreboard in this final 100 Peter Wright is currently averaging 77 and 100. his average in the previous game against Luke Humphreys was 102 it's taken a big hit here it's been a quick turnaround for the final but he he won't make an excuse, he'll have had this situation so many times, so it's nothing new to Peter Wright. 60. Max Hopp won that. 
European tour. There were some big ball finishes in the back end of the match, wasn't there? Drama, there's a deciding leg. Petrachko won't be thinking about any sort of deciding leg at the minute. He'll just want to continue this and win this final as comfortable as possible. Yeah, it's all about game management, I think, here for Petrachko. He's just got to take care of things on his throw and if anything else comes up on the piece of right throat, all well and good. Easier said than done, of course, especially as the finishing line draws near, as he found out almost to his cost against Michael Van Gerwen in that semi-final. Crowd are really enjoying this, though. 26. They are sensing that, yeah, something not unique, but very special indeed, could well happen in the next 15 minutes or so. Peter Wright will be sensing an opportunity to get one of these breaks back here. A visit of 26 in Petrechko. Ah, well done, Peter Wright. Gets himself down to a finish. Still a lot of work to do for Ricardo. 99. Peter, you require 121. Mate, just be one dart the bullseye for Peter Wright. Treble 11, ideally. But it is ball for 4-2. And it's a break, and he's just marginally off target again. Ricardo, you require 116. Well, Petresco did get himself into position. I think he's taken out 116 this weekend as well. This is one of the many big checkouts that he has landed. Just about found that single 16. That was very close, but my goodness me, he makes the most of his good fortune once again. It is another Tumplers checkout. It's the second of this final. He still hasn't missed a double. Five from five and so composed there was a 26 in that leg as well and he still manages to find a way to win it he crosses the halfway and he's three legs away from winning his first ever pdc title <laughs> listen to that reaction peter wright ain't going quietly no he certainly isn't first max or well, first max of the final 140 well some plus check out number six of the weekend and number two of the final for Petrescu. 97. It's another big step towards the finish line. Three away. Decent switch, but right still in front. They need to find one of these breaks soon, Peter Wright, as Piotrzeczko edges closer. Peter Wright will run out with room for error. Wriggle room for Wright. And in the meantime, he's got to hold on to his own throw, Rob. Well, that's the thing, and yeah, this is, I think this is where Piotrzeczko can really enjoy himself. He's got the opportunity to play with a bit more freedom. Okay problem there because he's left himself 171 however that's 39 trimmed off yeah I'm not sure about that last dart Ricardo yeah he, 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 I think he just realized what he's done you can see him with a little sort of rise smile he was just in that little zone he hasn't glanced at the scoreboard yeah because he's it, counting he, he, he's a good counter it's just a just a, a lack of concentration there but either way it'd have been a big ask and Peter Wright leaves double 10 and it's on the Peter Wright throw 89. so it's not huge damage you require 20 well Peter Wright so far has missed three darts at a double, but he doesn't miss that one. But it is a mere hole of throw. Could be significant in the long run. Time will only tell. Deep breath. He's got to keep holding throw, Ricardo. Settle for the turn. It's a 5-2 scoreline, but with it, two breaks a throw in favour of Petrechko. Peter Wright has got to recoup one of them quickly. Such a solid stance, isn't it? There's not no movement really in the back leg either, and that's quite common in players. The stray dart from well two stray darts actually the first was way below that trouble 20 bed 45. and that was even further away as well so just 45 and Petrescu with a little bit of a cushion and a chance to embellish it now as well it's just welcome respite as well isn't it Petrescu 60 
Needs them all to leave a finish, Peter Wright. 140. That could work if Pete, if this is a poor setup for Petrechko. Doesn't look like it's going to be. Oh, 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 watch him go. Absolutely sublime. 136. Peter Wright has just got a hit and hope, but bearing in mind he'll be throwing, knowing my opponent hasn't missed a dart at a double yet. But he asks the question, brilliant from Peter Wright. Will this force a first error from Petrechko? 14s. Gets the treble. Two dark combination, you know the rest. You what cannot earth. believe how consistent he has been in the main in those sort of situations. Game on. Treble 14, double 16. And once again, Mark, he takes care of business on throw, and that's exactly what he needs to. He can afford, I think, one slip up here in terms of losing a break now. Yeah, a bit of class from Peter Wright as well, just acknowledging. He just knows he's witnessing a masterclass in finishing. Every opportunity Petrech goes hard, he's taken. He's six from six on the doubles. He's two legs away from winning the Euro Tour here in Hildesheim. And a paid check of £30,000 on the brink of the world's top 50. A spot in the Grand Slam. Pretty much confirmed himself in the majors next year. It's career changing. What could happen to Pierre Trechko if he wins two more legs here? Yeah, I think it is safe to say his birthday might well come early. It's next Friday when he turns 29, but I think he can start maybe celebrating this weekend if he can reel off these next two 60. legs without too much damage being done. trying to mount a comeback you're thinking right I need some errors from my opponent there's nothing 57. is there there's the average is 93 and a bit from Ricardo but the finishing fantastic Peter Wright not being at his best he'll keep chipping away well that's the thing 60. Peter Wright even if he knows he even if he knows that he can get into position and challenge he knows that if he does slip up if Petrescu is allowed in for a finish more often than not he's going to take more likely than not he's going to take it 60 and do you know what Petrescu could capitalise here as well the gap is less than 100 yeah. two trebles gets him to a finish and he'll fancy getting in there to just clatter into him oh, he's unlucky it's yeah pretty level but Peter Wright has got to find a serious burst if he's going to turn this around yeah, that's blocked a bit of the treble 20 bit. Yeah, so he switches to the 18s anyway. What's the setup play going to be like for Petrechko? It's not even paramount, is it? Because he's got such a big cushion in the match. Up he goes. Well, wow, that's wayward. Well, Peter, you I mean, we can forgive him that. Yeah, he, he found a 10 dart leg with a 1 4 5 setup in the semi final. Only one way to go here for Peter Rice, and he's right on the button. And, yeah, well, I mean, that could be the sort of visit that changes the entire emphasis. We'll find out in due course. But I don't think Petrescu, again, will be too ruffled by that. It was on the Peter Wright throw. Brilliant finish, by the way. 126 the check out, the biggest of the final so far. Maybe something to work with. It was quality from Peter Wright, because... Petrechko's on a two dart of a 7-2, but he's gone off 1-3-4. 57. And it's a cushion. Petrechko's just holding himself together like he's done all weekend. Every scenario that's been chucked at him, he's answered. Had to break through in a deciding leg against Michael Van Goo and did it in 10 darts. 100. Well, he got those two breaks for a 3-0 lead, and then since then it's been hold of throw after hold of throw from both parties. And Petrescu in good shape to add another hold of throw in this one as well. 60. Especially now, because that is a mere 60 from Peter Wright. And the contrasting moods in the respective camps as well. Rallied for 4 1, and he's bunting in the quarters as well. 100. So, Petrescu has had some challenges on the way, but he's answered them all. And Peter Wright, fill it up, but he's not going to leave a finish. Six starts for Petrechko to get rid of one six seven and go one away. Ricardo, you require one hundred and sixty seven. Yeah, plenty of time and plenty of darts in hand here for Petrechko. Fifty nine. Well, 
at least he, he kept it straight. He didn't have any stray darts, if you like. Missed the trebles, obviously, but nothing too damaging. But Peter right here, yeah, he's lost his way completely in this leg. Ricardo, you Just run out of steam, the average in the mid-80s for Peter. But Petrechko, what a position to be in. Oh. Surely it's going to go. Double 16, that was a bit close. And that's why he's just taken a step back. Hasn't missed a double yet. This for 7-3, still oh. hasn't missed a double. This is incredible. 7-3 against the former two-time world champion. He only needs one more leg to be champion here in Hildesheim. Well, I'm sure people will be just scrabbling through the record books to see if anybody has ever won a European Tour final over the course of a best of 15 encounter with perfection on the finishing. Seven out of seven so far. Three Tum Plus checkouts. That was the biggest of the lot. 58. Sorry, got the 116 earlier, I should say, but that was just as significant. And the crowd are just beginning to warm their vocal cords once again because they can sense this one is perhaps near its conclusion and they are getting ready to, well, launch into the coronation, I think, here now. Could he join Max Hopp as a German 57. winner on the European Tour? We expected someone to join Max Hopp sooner rather than later. We were thinking Gabriel Clemens or Martin Schindler. It's looking like it's going to be Ricardo Petrechko. Look how he's going to do it in this leg. But he's got so many opportunities. 140. Peter, you require 138. The shot that won the Grand Prix for Luke Humphries. For Peter Wright to save himself here. But over to the 18s. 98. The way Pierre Trechko has been playing, be amazed if he didn't clinch it from here. He showed no sign of wilting in any scenario that's been thrown at him this 58. weekend. Peter, you require 40. There is one more scenario to come, though, and that will be throwing for the title. That's a scenario that he hasn't faced so far. But Games on the evidence of what he play. has done so far, Peter you have to suggest that when he gets there, if he gets there, he could well pass the examination with flying colours. Here we go then, let's see what the start is like. All about how he gets out of the blocks here. 99. One treble visit. Peter Wright. Needs a big leg. Just to give Ricardo something to think about. But Van Gerwen did it in the semi-finals and he held himself together. And he's already pulled away in this leg. Got out in front early, got him, secured himself a double break, and since then has just defended his throw, Petrechko. 58. Reminder, this is huge. The first ranking title within the PDC, a European Tour title on home soil, but the knock-on effects are massive for Petrechko. He will go into the Long Grand Slam of darts, pretty much qualifies for all the majors next year. On the, the match play, the Grand Prix. And he's going on to the brink of the world's top 15. He hasn't even been on the tour two years. 140. And he could well do it by beating two former world champions back to back. Three, if you include, of course, Stephen Bunting as well. Two former PDC world champions in the shape of Van Gerwen and Peter Wright. 57. 57 for Peter Wright. This one. That, that, last, start, yeah. that last start was Peter Wright maybe thinking his race is run. And they're ready to celebrate. Bit more to do for Petrechko. But he's edging closer. Peter Wright, you feel, needs the lot. Yes, at turn 40, leaves a finish. But he's rarely threatened. Took out a 1 2 6 in his final, 16. but there hasn't been that Peter Wright at the semi final. Ricardo, it could be here. Petrechko, 104 for a huge victory here in Hildesheim. Well, he's already had three Tumplers checkouts in this final. And he's just double checking, and it is his favourite double 16. He has been so sure footed on this target tonight. And once again, eight out of eight for Ricardo Petrescu. A first BDC ranking title for the German.
And Germany has a new darting Wunderkind, a new name on the European Tour Roll of Honour. And certainly one to watch for the future. An absolutely astonishing performance by Pikachu. Ricardo Petrescu sees off Peter Wright, having seen off Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-final. And Germany celebrates here in Hildesheim. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant from Ricardo Petrescu. Germany has a new superstar, he deserves it, he hasn't had to ride his luck, he's just been so clinical throughout and look what it means to him. And it was as if he didn't know he was in a European Tour final, he was incredible. He's into the Grand Slam of Darts, like I said he's probably going to be in the Majors next year, he's on the brink of the world's top 50 and that is what this sport does to players. What an achievement, his first ever PDC ranking title win and he's done it on home soil and what a performance and he will be one to watch. He'll go to Dortmund in two weeks and he'll have a lot of attention. He'll be seeded 14 as well, which is some achievement in itself. The second German to win a PDC European Tour title, a first ranking title for Ricardo Petrescu. And he is full of emotion. We're gonna hear from him very shortly. We'll have the ceremony right now as well for you, but from myself and Mark Webster and from Dan Dawson, uh, we'll hand you over. Brilliant, as always, on the final European Tour of the weekend and for 20, 20, 2023 as a whole. Over to the stage, our MC, Philip Brzezinski. Hildesheim, an unglaubliches European Tour Finale, ein unfassbares letztes European Tour Event dieses Jahres liegen hinter uns. Und wir haben deutsche Dartsgeschichte geschrieben. Wir 